I want to talk about just two words here. Be instant. When you read the Bible, you circle the keywords and then you ask, what does that mean? When I read NIV, uh, I get the translation as be prepared. Some translations say be ready. But I always realize it's not such an apt translation. Until I read the King James Version, I say, I say, be instant. Yeah, that's spot on. It fits my Christian experience. Yes, that's it. The true evangelist knows the spirit of being instant. So I take it to mean three things here, okay? Being instant means having a primary and direct devotion to the soul of people, right? It's always right there. Instant. A true evangelist knows that he doesn't have to discuss the methodology of evangelism with people first. You know, a true evangelist is clear about the primary devotion of his soul. You, you may say sometimes, Pastor, yes, I'm devoted, but sometimes, no, you know, I'm distracted. So, what I'm saying is, you people right there, in fact, those people that sit on a panel or those that come up to share, you know, you share about the difficulty of your uh, Christian life and how you want to evangelize to others. No, I understand. It's not as if you are not devoted to evangelism, but you are distracted. Your enemy is distraction. You get what I mean? So when you pray, you pray against distraction. Now, why do you pray in the morning and night? You come back to focus. Actually, this is what I really called to do. And I already have it in my heart. But devotion is something where you focus on it. Focus. Keep focus. So there is a constant and primary focus on the salvation of men. Wherever you're going. Where are you? Okay, you're always ready to get into the act of witnessing. You see, some Christians are always waiting for signs, you know. Or some live their lives loosely, you know. You know, you are ready, your heart is devoted, and then ready to act on it as you engage people I understand that not all the time you must mention about the name Jesus you know but you are ready that's why you're always ready to lift out the love of Jesus you give people a listening ear the people have problem you pat them on the shoulders and say I'm praying for you, you no know, that kind of thing you know this is how Christian living Christian evangelism is all about ready to act on it ready to show your Christ likeness in you and so you get into listening people's problem share others concern you are not hesitant and when the time comes you're not hesitant to testify so it's not a must do thing hey, you must do huh? after the conference must do must evangelize no it's not a must it's a live it out thing no when it's a life you don't make it a law you know you make it a must do you kill the life so ready to live it out always watchful as you do that, you must be full of the Spirit. Okay, now I'm training you. What is it to be full of the Spirit as an evangelist? I will give it as be natural and sincere. I'm especially touched by the word sincerity. No, sincere. One of the things you know you will touch an IMIH generation is sincerity. You see, if you have a genuine concern for people's soul, sincere concern, they will be captivated by you. you know? And as I grew up in the church, I just noticed one phenomenon. You know, the number of sincere believers who has a genuine concern for souls, they get fewer and fewer in the church. You realize that? Because why? People are busier, people on their handphones, you know. And, and then you see people doesn't share so much concern for each other. Then the weak and very contrite people in the church, they will leave the church. And then only the very capable and talented people gets to the leadership of the church, you know. So be careful. So when we grow up, now I understand, you know, you share a lot of passion for, for God's work, for evangelism when you're a student. This is the case. That's why... It's, VCF, CCC, all these para church ministry are thriving, you know. But once these people enter into the workforce, they lose it all. You know why? Because you get into society, you meet more people, you become busier, you start to become more complicated as a result. And then we start to read a lot into people and make judgment. You realize we get very complicated. And then 
So then we try to put on a front with people. Uh, now that's where you go wrong. That is something you lose very much in sincerity. Sincerity is the thing. It really touches people. And loving God and sincerity towards men always go hand in hand.